Hello, 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 sellers. Come on in, come on in. I'm Kathy and I love to be selling. And today I'm going to talk about AI, artificial intelligence for eBay sellers, specifically for eBay, eBay sellers, and looking at the artificial intelligence that eBay is already using. You may not be aware of it, <laughs> it's on the site. The more that you're aware of it, what it is, what it can do for you, the better for you, because it helps you to know sort of the direction that eBay's going. It can also help you to list faster. And that's why I call this leveraging artificial intelligence, um, because it really can help you to list faster. And I know sellers are always coming to me, Kathy, Kathy, you know, how can I get more sales? And one way to get more sales is to have more listings up on eBay. Um, but when you're listing, and that's why I'm going to talk about the AI, you want it to be optimized. And what that means is that it'll be found by search. It'll be sold for a good price. Okay. So it's not just listing. It's putting up a quality listing that can be found by search. that so has the information that eBay search needs. So come on in, come on in. Uh, those of you that watch me live on Facebook, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for following my page. I really appreciate it. Uh, those of you that listen to me on YouTube, thank you, YouTube people. I'm well over 8,000 subscribers now. So thank you for all of you, the subscribing comment there. And a big thank you to my podcast people. Um, tons and tons and tons of downloads. And thank you for subscribing on the various channels that it's on um, and leaving comments. I really do appreciate it. So artificial intelligence. I mean, there's really been an explosion about this. Um, I'm actually at Adweek New York this week. I'm going to date this. Today is October 16th. Um, and if you're not aware of it, Adweek is a huge, huge, huge event. Um, I attended last year's too. Yay. eBay um, invites me as their guest. I'm very appreciative. It's a massive event. Um, has to be over 2000 people there. I mean, it's really huge. It's advertisers, it's brands. So it's brands like eBay, like Amazon, but also Home Depot, insurance companies. I listened to um, State Farm today, really good presentation. Um, and then you're going to have um, places like Google. Google has a huge display, huge presence um, at this year's Ad Week. Um, also, fun brands like Oscar Mayer. In fact, I have to take a picture more. Oscar Mayer has their Wienermobile out front. But what does that remind you of? Branding. You see the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile, you immediately think of Oscar Mayer. You recognize it. You think hot dogs. Um, so it's just interesting to see brands, advertisers, um, and then people that have services for ad agencies. So like film companies, video companies, uh, software designers, um, just a lot of um, services like that. The information, the sessions that I go to are sessions that are on um, retail online retail, um, engaging with customers, attracting customers, retaining customers, which is why I listened to Home Depot today and State Farm, a really good presentation um, on that. Um, also at artificial intelligence, everybody's talking about artificial intelligence. It's interesting, last year, everybody talked about TikTok and TikTok is there um, at Adweek. This year, everybody's talking about artificial intelligence. And it's because of the explosion with ChatGPT. And if you're not aware of what that is, it's, it's literally an, uh, an app. It's free, by the way. So just search it, download it, and start playing with it. Um, they can generate content for you. It can write for you and do a lot of other things too. So eBay's using it in writing descriptions for your eBay listings. And if you're not aware of it, eBay and other companies use a lot of artificial intelligence. So it's computer driven things that are automated um, to help retain shoppers. So to bring them back to eBay um, and to attract shoppers, to bring them to eBay. What I really encourage you to do if you don't do this is have a separate ID. So besides your selling ID, have a non-selling ID. Use it as your shopper ID or your research ID. And it's completely legitimate on eBay. You can have more than one ID. Okay. So I have a buying ID where I shop with and I have a selling ID that I sell with. And the reason I mention this is so log in. So you create your buying ID. So Kathy, Kathy Shopper, my buying ID. And then go on eBay and start searching. You can search for things that you typically list 
or just some generic searches like LL Bean is one of my favorites because it's a shirt that my husband likes a lot and just search LL Bean and then maybe put a few in your shopping cart then take them out of your shopping cart um, and the other thing is I definitely I encourage you to shop on eBay um, I'm trying to think the last thing I bought on eBay oh I bought a wonderful purse on eBay so you know you buy something on eBay and then watch the emails that get triggered from eBay definitely thanking you for your purchase. By the way, eBay does send reminders to the buyers to leave feedback for you. But what they'll also do is things like, this thing was similar to the thing that you bought. Maybe you'd be interested in this, you know, that kind of thing. So they're following up to bring people back and that is bot generated. Now, artificial intelligence for eBay sellers to help us. Jamie Iannone talked about the um, accidental entrepreneur at eBay Open, about people that just start to sell a few things, find they really like eBay, and then they start to sell more regularly on eBay. And he calls it the accidental entrepreneur. Okay. Now, the thing with accidental entrepreneurs are to bring people to eBay to sell to eBay. eBay is really focusing on making listing easier. This was talked a lot of, this was talked about a lot at eBay Open. And I was at the eBay Open Studio in Philadelphia. It was talked a lot about there. Now, why would eBay be so interested in making um, our listing easier? Is it brings so then for newer sellers, perhaps more casual sellers like the entre the uh, accidental entrepreneurs, the easier, the less friction. And it's interesting because at Adweek they were talking about friction, uh, which means you know when you make something harder. The, the less friction there is, the less of a learning curve in selling, the more new sellers you're attracting to eBay. Why does eBay want to attract new sellers? Because that's competition for us. <laughs> and if you're a new seller, welcome. Is it's more inventory for eBay. The more inventory eBay has and the more varied inventory eBay has, the more different kinds of shoppers it's going to attract. The other thing about accidental entrepreneurs and new sellers to eBay is typically they also shop on eBay. So yes, I'm listing that LLB shirt or the camo shirt, but then I'm there, I'm like, oh, you know what? I need a pair of socks. Let me go look for a pair of socks. So selling on eBay, because I'm doing eBay, also encourages shopping on eBay. So smart on eBay to do that. Right now, the... Um, the artificial intelligence ability to write descriptions is only on the app. eBay does plan, and they've said this many times, to roll it down on desktop. So that's what I'm saying. Keep an eye out for it. If you normally list on desktop, and I typically start mine on my phone because I take my pictures on my phone, and then I save to draft, and then I go to desktop because I just like the bigger screen. But what I encourage you to do, and I was doing this, so grab your phone, and I have an iPhone and go to eBay. And I know also a lot of you do sell similar when you're listing. And I think that's great. And I thumbs up on sell similar. But what I encourage you to do is take a look at what this um, artificial intelligence capability is for when you have an item that you don't have a sell similar for, or it's an item that you haven't sold on eBay for quite a while. So it'd be interesting to see what kind of things eBay is going to autofill. Or it's an item that you have never sold on eBay. So you're really starting from ground zero. Yes, you're going to want to do your research, but it's interesting what the artificial intelligence will tell you. So I did very generic. And again, so let's say it's the first time that I'm selling, you know, kids sneakers or the board game because we're going into the holidays. Maybe it's the first time I'm selling this game or this puzzle or this kind of plushie. But anyway, go to um, my eBay selling. And again, um, you can do this with the app installed um, with your shopping ID. I encourage you when you're doing the chat GPT thing, though, do it um, as you selling. OK, and on the app, as far as multiple IDs, because like with Instagram, if you're not aware of this, if you have multiple accounts, you can toggle between accounts. That's not true on the eBay app. So you're going to log in as seller, 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 Kathy, and you're going to tap selling. And then at the top, there's a blue bar. I'm on an iPhone. Um, list item. Now, this is what's so interesting. So I have these colored icons, type keywords like brand, model, or another detail, which is they say, so I could just type in a title, ISBN, anything I want in the search, or 
I can choose from possible matches. So I'm going to type in an item and then eBay is going to give me things that it might be. Very similar to doing your own sell similar. Okay. Or pre, and then it says preview. So then I'm going to look at what eBay gives me. I can make changes, which is a good idea, by the way. Even when you're doing sell similar, always be careful. <laughs> Right. Sometimes you're doing sell similar and the thing that you're listing is solid and the one you had before was floral and you forget to change the pattern. It's like, oops. So anyway, so type keywords. I'm going to type keywords. Um, so tell us what you're selling. So type keywords. I was doing LL Bean. LL Bean. And obviously with collectibles, this is tougher. But even with collectibles, just check it out and see what they do for you. So LL Bean. Now, when I type in LL Bean, eBay says, can you be more specific? LL Bean jacket. Backpack, tote. This is also good because it lets me know it's in demand, right? I'm getting a little inventory research. Boots, flannel, bag, sweater, vintage. We're going to go with flannel. Now, again, this is very helpful for inventory. It wants to know flannel shirt. It starts giving me sizes. Isn't that interesting? Nike online jeans. Remind you that jeans do have linings. Another inventory tip. Um, it's giving me more sizes whether I want women's. So I'm going to do extra, I'm doing LL Bean flannel extra large. Now it wants to know tall women's vintage men's flannel. It's giving me sizes. Okay. So let's do flannel shirt, extra large, extra large. And men's LL Bean flannel lined. No, not flannel. Red flannel. Okay. We'll do a red flannel. And I'm going to do red flannel shirt, extra large. And then I can see all results. And it shows me pictures of men's flannel, extra large shirts. And you can scroll through and find one that looks like yours. Obviously, you're going to be using your own pictures. So what it is, is with a matter of a few keywords, it starts pulling up suggestions. And if you don't do this, by the way, you know you can screenshot from your phone. Okay. And if you see something interesting, be sure to screenshot it. Um, because it can give you inventory ideas like line jeans was right up towards the top. And I remember that that is in demand in fall winter. So it's giving me a little bit of an inventory tip. So when I'm outsourcing, it reminds me that when I'm looking at the jeans also, you know, pull up the cuff and take a look at whether it's lined or not, or just put my hand inside right at the waistband and, and feel it because the, the line jeans do nicely. I've always sold mine for good prices. Um, but it gives you suggestions and then you follow through eBay wants us to list faster. The AI tools are really, really helping, which is it's from the information that you give, it's auto-filling. Then you use the listing, add your pictures, tweak, list. Okay. Very similar to, if you're not aware of this, when you're creating a listing on the app, eventually this will be on desktop. When you get to the description It'll say, do you want to use the AI, which is artificial intelligence description? You click the little thing and you say, yes, it generates it. Now, a couple of things about this. If you use chat GPT, and I do, you cannot give the eBay AI directions. For instance, with chat GPT, you can. You can say uh, two sentences describing, uh, describing the shirt and then... Um, six bullet points okay of the features and then it'll bullet point color fabric whatever i cannot do that right now with the ebay artificial intelligence i tried because with chat gpt before you run it so you type in what you want and then you click for it to do it you say i would like three sentences and then six bullet points and you you tell it what you want you're giving it direction and then it creates it um with the eBay, you cannot give a direction. It just goes. Now, I'm sure like anything, if you're not aware of it, artificial intelligence learns as you use it. Um, is Right now, that's the way it is. And it asks for feedback, by the way. And if you use the artificial intelligence um, description uh, filler, do give them feedback. And I said, I would really like the ability um, to do bullet points. Now, it gave me two paragraphs on an LLB flannel <laughs> shirt. And it's pulling the information from the title and the item specifics. It's long, okay? And I've, and I've talked to a staff about this. Um, their idea is basically to get people listing and to get people listing quickly. But what I recommend, because you want to list quickly, but you also want a really optimized listing because it will help you to get 
uh, sales quicker and for a better price is you want something that is really simple to read. Um, typically, most people, when they're scrolling, they're looking at the title and the pictures, and that has to interest them enough to want to look at your description. So I find with descriptions, really like a sentence or two is plenty and then bullet points. So it's really easy to read and understand. But with the chat GPT, then you could take it and edit it and then maybe take one sentence and then the other stuff, just put it into bullet points and then you're done. Okay. So I, I caution you with the chat GPT for the description. It's good. It's fast. It will give you ideas. Um, and it might give you something like, boy, I never thought to emphasize that. That's a great idea. Um, but I encourage you to edit it. If you're shopping on eBay and if you look at people's listings where they've used the artificial intelligence, the eBay for descriptions, you can tell it's long. It's like two paragraphs. Oh, and, and you can dance into the moonlight in this dress. And oh, you know, the, the flounces around your neck will make you feel like a queen. And, you know, and the queen, it, it just goes on and on and on. So again, I think look at it, grab a sentence or two, then do bullet points. But it gets you listing, it gets you listing faster. And again, if I typically list, let's say, five listings a day or two listings a day and using in the app the artificial intelligence for the description, if it cuts down my listing time by, let's say, you know, two minutes per listing and I do five listing, that's 10 minutes more out of my day. Maybe I get another listing up. And you might poo poo like, oh, Kathy, one more listing a day, like who cares? You know, but let's say I list five days a week. That's five more listings a week. That's 20 more listings a month times 12. Do you know what I mean? Or I've got more time and then maybe I'm doing a social media post. Um, or maybe more time with my family, right? Answering customer service questions. So anything that helps us is super helpful. And when eBay asks for feedback on things, I always send it. You know what I mean? Especially when something's new, 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 like this artificial intelligence is, you know, I really want bullet points. I want to be able to give direction because then it lets them know what we, the seller, want. Very rarely will you hear back from them, um, but the teams do read that. When you respond in the shipping, wherever you are, they do read it. It does help. Uh, the answer may be no. Um, the answer may be not now, but it's definitely worth doing it. So I encourage you, have two seller IDs, one you sell with, one you shop with. The one that you shop with, shop. Also put things in your cart, take things out, and then watch the emails that get triggered because it lets you know what eBay does for our shoppers. Um, and that can be super, super helpful. Okay. It also lets you know how hard eBay is working to get us sales and also to bring people back. Okay. Then try the artificial intelligence with the description and watch what eBay does. Can you use it? Is it useful? Okay. Even if you're doing a sell similar, you then might want to save it as a draft and go to the app and see what it generates. And again, soon it will be on desktop to so be able to generate it. Okay. And again, right now we can't give it any direction. But like I did when I was searching the LL Bean and it starts to pre-fill and it starts to give me all these ideas. Why is it doing that? Because those things are really popular. That's why it's doing it. So I'm learning by using eBay's artificial intelligence, I'm getting like bonus inventory tips. And that I love. So speaking of inventory, um, hop over to my website, um, I love to be selling.com and take a look at this nifty free fall winter essential products guide for eBay sellers that I have put together for you. Again, I have a lot of retail experience. If you're not aware of it, I was in brick and mortar retail for over 15 years and a presenter on QVC. So I'm very retail oriented, very seasonal retail oriented. And what I've done is I've put together a product guide of just things that sell fall, winter that you can source, whether you're sourcing thrift stores, consignment stores, retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, estate sales. So grab it, it's free. On my website, I love to be selling.com, fall winter essential products guide um, and enjoy it. And let me know how you like it. Also, when you're using the artificial intelligence for description, tell me what you think. You know, when you're searching it and trying it with listing things like dresses and plushies and just let me know what you think. I mean, comment below. Let me like, I tried it. I love it. I tried it. It's not for me. I tried it. You know, I love it. I think it's fabulous. Or I tried it. I like it in this category. But give me feedback. Let me know what you think. It's always good to hear from you. And thank you for joining me. And I'm Kathy. And I love to be selling. Bye-bye, everybody.